Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Now, yesterday we talked about the trailer that's on your screen. To me, there really wasn't too much to break down. It looks like they have player intros. We had some player intros in Madden 2012. Not really a big deal that they're bringing it back, but I do love the intros with the players coming out of the tunnel. So, that could be something new that people can look forward to. For me, I'm more concerned about new features, you know, gameplay and stuff like that. The new story mode looks dope, but with the Frostbite engine, I was expecting to see, you know, there's something to, to suggest that the gameplay is going to feel, you know, a little bit different. You know, maybe not totally different, maybe not the upgrade or the jump that we want, but something that would suggest that this Frostbite engine is more than just visuals, more than just lighting and stuff like that. And of course, you got the story mode, which I'm excited for. A lot of people are speculating, is that the draft? Some people think that you might just have to start off playing for the Colts. Who really knows, man? I think that it's the draft, in my personal opinion. But anyways, man, some of the features came out with what's new in Madden. And one thing that they talked about was coach adjustments. Customize the AI to fit your game plan and make situational changes to your strategy on the fly as the game demands it. Now, we had something like this similar in NCAA 10. That was the first year that they had this feature all the way up to NCAA 14 where you could tell your defensive players, no, go, go for big hits or just wrap up. Go for the strip, you know what I mean? Or just, you know, try to wrap up there as well. You know, go for the big play, stuff like that. You know, as far as impact blocking, catching, big run, Go for the big run or hold on to the football. So I'm wondering if this is something brand new or just something that we once had already in, in the EA Sports football game back in NCAA 2010. Now on your screen right here, we have Madden 05. This is with Ray Lewis on the cover. One of the features of Madden 05 is that they had defense assignments. Now coverage assignments sounds a little bit different. Know your job and pass coverage with an on-screen, real-time UI system informing you of your coverage coverage assignment and pass defense. So that doesn't sound like this. On your screen, you see Randy Moss in his prime, Dante Culpepper in his prime, and we got Champ Bailey in his prime as well. And right here with the coverage assignments or the defense assignments, you're able to tell Champ Bailey to follow Randy Moss wherever he goes. So the first two plays, Randy Moss is on the right side, Champ Bailey, he lines up on the right side as well. Right here, you see that, that now Randy Moss is in the slot, so now Champ Bailey, he goes in the slot as well. Now I know you're thinking, well, there's only two receivers on the field. Actually, as I zoom out, you're gonna see there's one receiver to the left side, Randy Moss in the slot, and another receiver to the right side. So is this something that's going to, you know, help us on the defensive side of the ball? Or is this something, maybe that's another gimmick to get us all hyped up, but it's really, you know, the same thing, much to do about nothing. So now I'm going to talk about the story mode just a little bit. This is Superstar mode on the PS2 in the old school Maddens where you had interviews. You had to pick an agent. Not every agent wanted you. Now, if you don't remember, when you had NCAA football on the PS2, you could import your guy from there. And if you did well in college, you could maybe even be a first or second round pick. And that would help you, you know, find a better agent. Um, if you just imported your guy straight from Madden, you know, did a little uh, mini camp, not mini camp, but did a little individual workouts and did the combine, most likely you're not going to have the best agent. So I'm wondering if that's going to be in the story mode or is this just a preset story based on EA Sports uh, track record with uh, Fight Night Draft Champions, of uh, Draft Champions, Fight Night Champion, excuse me. And of course, you have the FIFA 17 game mode as well, the journey. It seems like what Madden is going to have is something that's already preset you're just gonna play through it kind of like a campaign in a first-person shooter what you do really doesn't affect the story which I think could be a downgrade because right here I did okay you know what I mean didn't do the best so I'm not a first-round pick you know what I mean I'm not even a second-round pick and most likely the team that I get drafted by is gonna think that I'm some kind of backup from my performance you know what I mean and my performance got me to a third-round pick pick number 12 to the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to be backing up Frank Gore. And of course, one thing that we haven't had in EA Sports football for a while is being able to customize our face separately from our hair. If you remember when you created a player, the hair and the face are tied together. Back in the day on the PS2, you could separate the hair from the face and stuff like that. And then something that's unique is that is that something popped up during my calendar session is that I had a movie role pop up. Now, are we going to have things like that where we can decline a movie role? And maybe it wouldn't be a movie role. I mean, EA Sports are a little bit zealous with having a movie role, you know, during training camp. But maybe it'd be like an endorsement deal. You know what I mean? And maybe the 
the better we play, we get bigger endorsement deals. Let's say that, you know, because you're a local kid, you're from Texas or whatever, maybe some barbecue pit in Texas wants you to endorse their product. So you do that, right? And then as you get a little bit bigger, you might get, you know, Nike to jump on board or maybe like a subway, you know what I mean? You can go step by step by step. Of course, when we go to the city map, we can go to our agent's office. Do we have the ability to do that in story mode or is it again just something that is just preset? And then of course, tattoos. Now I understand why EA Sports doesn't have tattoos for everybody, but these tattoos are generic, so I don't think you can get sued for having generic tattoos. EA Sports did get sued back in the day for having tattoos. I believe it was Ricky Williams' tattoo on the cover of NFL Street. But those right there are generic tattoos. Now the last feature I want to talk about is target passing, because this was the biggest one that they highlighted outside the story mode, right? For the first time ever, which really isn't true. No longer are you tied to throwing at an at your open wide receiver. Throw to who you want in the exact spot on the field with all new target passing, giving you ultimate control over where the ball is thrown. Right here, this of course is Madden 06 on the PS2, the vision code, precision passing. This put you this gave you the ability to put the ball where you wanted right away from the DB right to your right to your receiver right here it's showing you how to lead your receiver open right here again Reggie Wayne gets behind the coverage gonna put it where only he can get it and they're gonna show you right here you push up on it and so I'm wondering again I'm just wondering is this something that's totally new or is this something that's just recycled right here to show you all the places you can put the football you can put it low you can put it behind the receiver are we gonna have back shoulder catches are we gonna have things like this or is it another thing that's more like a gimmick, something that just flashes on the back of the game to make us excited, but then when we get into the game, it really doesn't feel that way. I'm not saying that it is that way, just based on EA Sports track record, it seems that this could be another year where they show us features and stuff like that, but they're really just recycling old things. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you excited for these new features? Are you just hoping that Madden continues to improve? Because I do feel like Madden 17 was a pretty good product. I'm not dissing that. I thought it was pretty good. But when we compare Madden to FIFA, to NBA 2K, to MLB The Show, just all the sports games, it seems like Madden is still a little bit behind those other sports games that many of us know and love. So again, not dissing Madden. I think that Madden 18 will take another step in the right direction. It just feels like year after year they're still playing catch up to other sports games. So are you excited for these improvements? I think that they're pretty cool, but once again, I feel like they're just recycling things that were already in the game, and I just want to make sure that they're going to be an improvement from what we used to have or it's like why just give us old stuff when it's not really anything innovative but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today tomorrow we'll be back to our regular scheduled program with our regular gameplay videos and through the year videos as well so if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video please give it a like i really do appreciate it and until next time peace awesome